Good day traders, Sam here from Trade to Prosper, giving another crypto review. Aptos is the next one. Uh, we can see that I've done some work in the past. If you look at my previous videos, and uh, I was pretty much on the mark. Um, did I trade it well? No. <laughs> Trading well is another another thing that you need to master. But having an idea is, is a good start. Um, you can see that was, uh, this is pretty much uh, fits into the parabolic scheme. I have, a, have a, a place where I'm documenting all this. I'll give you a, a sample of it. Uh, where is it? Here we go. So this is my parabolic theory. And if you can see, if I did a good job, that's how we go. I did discuss this in the previous videos and I'm just updating my doco. So this is my theory, base four. So we had base one, base two, base three, base four, four parabolic move. And sure enough, base four was there, $20. At the time when we did this, it was at $15. So I did expect it to go higher. So trying to get my parabolic theory in in good form so um and this is how it worked out we aligned our previous top as one and the bottom and it's, it's a little bit of guesswork but you can see the 1.618 is pretty much almost there give it take a bit so double top and pull back <coughs> what happens when you do a parabolic move especially on such a small time frame um it's it's difficult what we have right now is we pulled back to a selling climax when it all mac rally and it was on the point 382 when we look at this reference point to there i think it's going to come down further block the other coins point five this is where i'm interested to uh, fill up more um so i think this will come down um and you can see how how we, we get this descending um, wedge and we get a break and it just goes sideways look the, at the end of the day this could be um an accumulation range i just don't think it's going to be the case i think it's going to come down to the 0 0.5 0 0.5 might be a good level to start averaging but are we, are we hopeful to hit the 0.618 level Mm, that's that's hard to say but the, i'm just outlining the fib levels and the, the the mindset now if this was to break above this level here again uh where is it uh roughly that neckline there which is around the 618 level if we were to break above that then i'll say this is accumulation reaccumulation and uh then to potentially more highs yeah so if this was to break up and then go like that i would be looking at this this as accumulation selling climax secondary test maybe a, even a spring here and then back up and that might be just our range but i don't think that's going to be the case i think it's going to come down further is it going to come down further here now probably not um let's have a closer look Now, this is a bearish, bearish pattern of some sort. And uh, I'm not hopeful for it to actually, yeah, so it looks bearish. And if you look at it from this perspective, that's one, two, three, four, potentially five. Get a bounce and then continue on. Yep can get rid of that so are we going to send our descending wedge of some sort let's see how we fit into it maybe this was to come down to this level i'll see that as a nice selling climax get another rally and then we go sideways for a while until we break that level i'll be looking for something like that 
And I, yeah, yeah, finding a short entry right now is bad. That was a good level. You can see that was a previous support level. Obviously, a significant support level, actually. Therefore, it's just resistance and come back down. That's why I'm bearish on this. And uh, we've got our key fib levels, the 0.5 or the 618. Um, and really depends on how the crypto market goes. With this, this is the case. If this drops a lot and, and it's come down here, then a lot of the alts will crash as well. Guys, I am bearish on the alts. Uh, so there's a number of reasons why the, uh, I'm bearish. Um, and we can, I suppose, use a few samples. Give a, a, a few examples here and there. Let's have a look. I might pick Matic as uh, I've already talked about Matic. Now, actually, I yeah, it might be a good example. I'll use it. All right. What's happened um, is we got this sell and climax, big sell and climax, and we had a good rally. And Matic is one of the ones that did very well. Um, and it's not fitting the conventional model. So Matic might not be the one. Um, but I do expect so I do expect Matic to do that a bit. Um, I might choose another coin. Give me a sec, guys. Uh, I need to demonstrate maybe Cardano. Yeah, Cardano is better. The reason being is, so Cardano has done its sell and climax. So now it's in, it hasn't really done. So what, what I expect from a lot of alts is that when it capitulates, it does a bounce and it bounces better than Bitcoin significantly or a few of those coins, but it will start accumulating range where Bitcoin might break out of the accumulation range. The alts will still be within the majority of the alts will still be in the accumulation range. So for the likes of this, um, and this has got adder. See how we just break below it. So this is our, if you align it with our Wyckoff, actually selling climax, that was our automatic rally, secondary test, up thrust, and it's likely to come back down. And somewhere around here, give or take, we'll probably get another move. And that's a W potentially. Or we get last one, triple. Yeah. So ADA is an accumulation range. This one actually looks more like a, a rising wedge. And in most in most cases, um, with Wyckoff, there are rising wedges. And Bitcoin's ahead of the game. It, it, it done it before everyone else. So if you look at Bitcoin, it did it already. So Bitcoin was ahead of the alts in terms of a rising wedge on selling climax so you can see that did its accumulation this obviously was ftx tobacco maybe and we should have got a should go on probably higher and then come back down for a swing uh, a spring potentially so the ftx made a push maybe push it a bit further down than it should have and this could have this stage for bitcoin could have been here this this one here what it was probably to get, go up a fair bit, maybe get knocked back again and then up again. But so this Bitcoin phase is way ahead of the uh, the others. So I'm looking at where, where, where were we? So this example for ADA and the majority of coins are still in accumulation range, still looking to come back down again and accumulate while Bitcoin has its have its fun and Bitcoin's way ahead of the game, as you can see. Now the question is: Is Bitcoin slowing down? Yes, it is. Does that does that give? So what I do expect is Bitcoin eventually, sooner or later, it's going to hit its mark. Either it's, it's I've talked about this either here or further up. I doubt it's going to be further up, based on the alts. I think the alts have given me, especially out of it's given me an indication that it's unlikely to continue on. However, I could be wrong. So let's see what others done. If we do that, let's just clean this up. We'll see how Ada comes up. So if it's got, I've got to be proven wrong, but this could just simply 
just come up and further. This is going to be a strong resistance, like Bitcoin, and then maybe here, and then come back down. So that's the most bullish scenario that I can see Arrow with. And what we have for a lot of the alts is a level and then the pullback, and then we get this bump and run structure and then back up. If it's if it goes to that level, yep. Yeah. At the moment, that's I'll see Arrow again really pull back from there. And um, if it even makes it, it's probably going to come back down. So we've got a lot of moving averages like Bitcoin that they get a bit of rejection. So this was a strong move. But it's our A, B. What, how much of a C is it? Slightly above. I think it's still going to go up. But this is where I think it's good to short. All right. So I'm going to leave that, guys. Um, I can't really talk much about it. But from the alt perspective, I am bearish. And uh, I still see... Like Aptos and a few few major coins still to come back down. I'm going to leave it at that. Talk to you soon. Cheers. Please give me a like and share. Come and join my YouTube channel and subscribe. Appreciate it. Cheers.